Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here, and in today's video we're going to do a quick overview of how to boot your brand new Apple Silicon MacBook Air or MacBook Pro into DFU mode so you can use Apple Configurator 2 to restore Mac OS on there in under 10 minutes. We've got a lot to do, but we're going to make this quick. Let's get started. Let's talk about the first things that we need to get together here. The Apple Silicon Mac is the target Mac, and your it doesn't really matter. You can even use older Macs as long as they're running Catalina 10.15.6 or above. I recommend you running Big Sur though to do this action here. Because there's been some reports of people having issues with running Catalina trying to do the restore. But again, Apple says that you should be able to do it. Once you have that, again, the Apple Silicon Mac needs to be off and that's the target. The host Mac needs to be ready to go. Well, Configurator 2 on and ready to go. Now, the version number that you need is 2.13.2. So at the time of this video, that's the latest compatible version that you need to be able to do the restore. And all you need to do is download that from the App Store. Just search Apple Configurator 2 and download it right to your applications folder. Once you have that, all you need now is your charge cable. Your Apple USB-C charge cable that you use to charge your MacBook is all you really need to use. We need to plug it into our host Mac and you can really plug it into any port on the host Mac, but on the target Mac, it's very important that we plug it into the back port, the closest port, to the LCD. Now, that's different. You, if you've done this before on Intel devices to restore Bridge OS, you actually had to do it in the front one, the closest to the trackpad. So it's a little bit confusing. That has definitely changed. So that's one, something you want to keep an eye out for. So now that you have this set up, you're ready to begin the first step. The first step is that we have to make sure that we do a specific keyboard command to get this into in DFU mode, and we'll see it automatically on Apple Configurator 2 when we do it. So the way to get started is we're going to hold down the power button, the right shift, the left control, and the left option all together for 10 straight steps seconds. When you hit the 10, 10 second mark, you're going to let go of these keys and continue to hold down power on, for an additional 7 to 8 seconds until you see DFU mode in Apple Configurator 2. Now when I do this, I'm going to count 1 1000 to try to get as close as the second marks to what Apple asks you to do to get this going as we can. So, okay, let's get started. So here we go on our keyboard command, power, right shift, left control, option for 10 seconds. Here we go. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Done. Yes, we made it. Keep in mind, this is a very, very particular process to get it into DFU mode. If you're a second or two earlier or late than letting off those keys, it's not gonna work. And it's super, super annoying, right? Apple made a brand new boot process for the recovery system by just holding down the power button to get there, but they still had the DFU mode really convoluted and difficult. I can't tell you how many people have reached out to me and said, I can't get my Apple Silicon Mac into DFU mode. That's how to do it. Once we're here, right click on here, and we have two different options, and it's important to know what these options do. The first option I wanna go over is the revive option. You can get that by clicking on the DFU mode icon, right clicking on it, going to advanced, and you can see revive device. If there's there's no additional warning message or anything when you click on this, and I'll show you what that looks like when we click on that. What it'll do is immediately start to downlink, so it's a little bit weird, but then again, it's not taking away any data. It's not erasing. All it's doing is downloading macOS recovery and reinstalling it. Why would you need to do that? That's Let's just say that you have all your files in your system, everything's working right, but for some reason you can't boot your Apple Silicon Mac to recovery. It gives you an error or a prohibited sign or whatever. This is a perfect option to be able to reinstall recovery so you can boot back in. You disk utility, time machine, anything you need to do. So it's a really great option. What it's doing now is there's four steps. First of all, it'll download, it'll unzip, and install macOS Recovery. All right, we're back. The next option we want to talk about is Restore. The Revive worked great, but let's say the machine won't boot. Something's seriously wrong, or let's just say you want to reinstall macOS really quickly on your device and you are ready to go and you don't want to wait hours for the macOS to download in recovery mode to be able to do that. Or let's say you have tons of Macs that you need to build out and reinstall. This is a perfect option to be able to do that. How do we get to the restore option? All we need to do is click on the DFU mode, right click on it, and the restore is right here. So we can click on that and we get an immediate warning message. It says, do you want to restore and update MacBook Pro to 
the latest firmware version, all of your media and data will be erased from the primary disk. You cannot undo this action. Now, before we click restore, again, it erases the drive, then reinstalls macOS recovery, then it reinstalls macOS. So three different steps that this process does. If you click restore, it's going to immediately attempt to download macOS recovery first. Then after that's done, it will download the entire 13 gigabyte macOS Big Sur installer. So this is going to take a while. Now, before we do that, I want to show you a quick tip here. My suggestion for you is to download the ISPW file just like you can on iOS devices. I've got a database here, website here that that I put together that will keep track of all of the firmware files. And look at that, I got a link right to 1101, the first ISPW for Apple Silicon Max. You click on this, download it, it'll go to your downloads folder. And I've actually got that right here and I'll show you right here. This is the ISPW file. So if we go back to Apple Configurator 2, all we need to do is drag this over like this and it'll skip all those download steps. Let's do it right now. We immediately get a message to say, do you want to install firmware version 11.01 on MacBook Pro? So what it does give us is an option because all of the pieces are in there, including macOS recovery. So if we want to do the revive without the download, we can. And we can also reinstall macOS with the restore option. So let's do that right now and we'll see, I'll show you what that looks like. After you click on that, it's going to say installing the system. It doesn't even need to download. And I want to show you the activity. Open up activity monitor, click on disk, and watch the speed that you're gonna get over the USB cable. Look at this, we are pushing 500 megabytes a second. I mean, this is fast when we're talking about reinstalling Mac OS. Soon we're gonna get, the screen's gonna come back up here after it transfers all the data over, and then you'll see that we'll see a progress bar and it'll finish the install process. So I kinda like to keep this open so I can kinda see the transfer speed of what's going on. When you see this transfer speed kinda drop off, you'll know that it's getting close to finishing the process. So look, it's already making a jump. Now it says it's installing the system. It's almost 80%. We've got a Apple logo, and again, you can tell how fast this is going. The main transfer is already finished. Now it's doing the install part. So you're gonna see in a second here, a progress bar probably start to move up and that's finishing the whole process. And we'll be back after the job. Okay, we're back. Mac OS Big Sur is installed on the Apple Silicon Mac. The process takes anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes to complete. And you'll see on Apple Configurator, when OS is booted up, you'll see this padlock. And that kind of gives you an example or an indication of the fact that the communication and the wires are hooked up correctly and it can see the device. That's what that padlock kind of means. This was a real quick overview. If you're looking for more information and how this works and deeper dive, you can look at my deep dive video that'll be coming out really soon. I hope this video created value for you guys. If it did, click that subscribe button. We'll catch you in the next video.